We're here with uh, Anthony Joshua at the Westfield Shopping Centre in uh, Shepherd's Bush. Uh, first of all, uh, what have you made of the crowd turnout here today? Unbelievable. I heard it was just, just like it was similar to yesterday when Frosh did his in Nottingham um, boxes on the right. So. Yeah, definitely. And I mean, it's been since you've turned professional, it's five wins, five knockouts. Uh, how have you seen your professional uh, career go since winning that gold medal in London 2012? Uh, it's been interesting. It's all about experience. Um, so far, so good. You know, when you're winning, it's all good, but there's going to be tough times, and I hope just to come out on top. Yeah, definitely. And you've featured on some uh, great cards in some uh, great venues across the country, um, but this is, of course, going to be the biggest. I mean, how are you feeling uh, heading into this fight at Wembley in um, front of 80,000 people? Pretty chilled because I feel that as an undercard fighter, I can't put the pressure on me because I can only imagine what Crutch and Rose are going through. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So I just go in and hopefully get my job done and enjoy the night. And you're, you're starting off the show, I mean, what, what's that going to be like? And uh, looking to set the pace, I'm guessing. Set the pace, man, that's what it's about. Set the pace, get the job done and, uh, and just enjoy it. Oh, definitely. And, uh, I mean, you're going to, of course, uh, try and get out, watch the main event. What have you made of the build-up to this second fight the, and the tension between the two? And if you like it, you know, 80,000 people, Wembley, it's been an instant sellout. <laughs> Man, it's going to be unbelievable. And I'm guessing you're hoping one day to top a bill uh, of a similar stature. 100%. And what, what is your uh, prediction for the main event on uh, Saturday? Sorry? What is your prediction for the main event on Saturday? Uh, I feel that Scott should edge it. Um, proud man, a world champion, and uh, I think he'll hold on to his belts. You know, um, but I do not underestimate Rose. If he doesn't win it this time, he will become a world champion in the future, and I wish him the best of luck. And uh, it must be a great feeling in um, your gym because not only yourself but Kevin Mitchell on the yeah. card as well. I mean, what, what's it been like in camp leading up to this? It's not been tough. It's been always tough. But um, I feel Kevin Mitchell, you know, he's yeah. in a position right now where he's knocking on the door of a world title. So uh, he's training hard, he's focused. And uh, he's one that I'm really looking forward to. Apart from watching Rose and his girl, and guys, I'm really looking forward to Kevin Mitchell. And what, what are your aspirations for the rest of uh, this year heading into uh, next year? Keep on winning, baby. Keep on winning. That's it. Simple stuff. Keep keep my head down, stay focused, and then just try and keep on winning. And a certain uh, other Olympic gold medalist um, who's now living in the States uh, has come on Twitter saying he, we could see a return, uh, Audley Harrison. Do you think that would be something we could see uh, you and Audley uh, get in the ring? Uh, I can't predict the future. So I can't predict the future. Uh, right now, I've got Matt Legg in front of me. He's my opponent, and that's who I'm focusing on. All the best to Audley, whatever he does. And if we clash heads, it'll be a great night of boxing. Two Olympic gold medalists, heavyweights coming together and putting on a great show. So until that comes, I'm not really focusing on that. Oh, that's great, Andy. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, mate.